each one of your areas, whether it's prepared foods, meal kits, or meal delivery, is growing faster than the rest of the industry, uh, quite a much. And, and so my question is, what, are the, what do you see as the main growth drivers in your, in your parts of that industry as well? Well, we can start with you. Sure. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what's driven our growth and uh, how I think it relates to the industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it, wherever we've deployed Uber Eats as a product and said, it, it, hey, we've got ample selection and the logistics are in place so that the delivery is reliable, we find that the growth follows, meaning the product market fit is really there and the consumer demand is really there. And we're, we're just waiting to see exactly where it levels out. You know, our, our perspective is that there's this uh, pent up demand for food delivery and we've been seeing uh, that demand just start to be met over the last couple of years, uh, and it feels like there's a lot of a lot a lot more growth that is going to happen before we hit that ceiling. And so I think it's too soon to answer that question. Okay, all right, mm. Matt. Growth drivers and meal kits. Yeah, I, th I think it's a little different. I I think that the consumer recognizes that cooking at home is a lot of you know benefits. Um, it's not just the ability to control what you eat. Uh, but you actually create time with your family. So whether it's three single people living uh, in one place or a family of four in a more traditional um, household, it, it does create that time. So our product is actually much more complex than just the assembling um, of a meal. We also, though, see that cooking can be very intimidating. You know, what do I cook? What are the ingredients? I can't cook. I don't have any confidence. Um, and so we can help make that a little simpler, a little bit more accessible. It's step-by-step -step recipes. It's 20 minutes to get to a, a, a finished meal. Um, so I think if you combine those two, that's what's driving uh, the demand for our business and, and the great growth we've seen, not just in the U.S., um, but globally. Um, and this time of year with New Year's resolutions being, I hope, uh, sustainable, a lot of people pick cooking as one of their big resolutions. And so we, we really do fit that. So um, it's just about finding those insights for the consumer and making sure they understand our, our value proposition. But I think people want to cook at home and want to spend time with their family. And if you put that together, it ends up in a really nice experience. Good, good, thanks. Helen, what's driving growth in prepared foods? Yeah, I think uh, what really drives our growth is giving the customers uh, choices, really, whether it be dietary choices, sizes of uh, the meals that they eat, uh, varieties, and just the way you cook it, whether it's a prepared meal that you just, it's ready to go and you heat it, or then there are people that want to cook, but they don't want to have to go shop around the whole store, similar to, to HelloFresh, you don't want to have to go shopping for it, and you can just grab something and quickly, you know, take it home and cook it. So really it's, it's the variety that we have. And then also, customer keeping up customer confidence because mm -hmm. the deli department sometimes you know you have a certain segment of people that want to shop in the deli and then maybe you have vegetarians and vegans that are not used to shopping in the traditional deli so when we start to bring those type of products in and the better for you products is really once the customer gets to know i can find something that i can eat in the deli department i can find uh, better for your meals and then you grab more of the customers mm -hmm.